Hi, this is Paul from EMD Motorsport on Kawara Road. Just want to show you what we're doing today. Uh, I've got this car here, uh, Audi Q8, with the actual battery problem on this car here. And I'll show you what I mean. It's got the battery light under here. There's your battery light there, under there. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to show you the actual fault codes on the computer because it's more clear than printing it out. Okay, that's the actual fault that I took. This is the picture of the fault that comes up comes up on the on the car when you start it up. So let's go back to what I down what I found. Sorry. Okay, this is the actual uh, fault code locked on the actual battery management two. It's uh, got low low voltage. EV battery pack state of charge is very low. Okay, that's the two faults I've got. And I went and checked the actual battery pack, the actual 48 volt battery, the back. Let's have a look at that one. I'm just using the computer because it's more clear than actually uh, printing out paper. Okay, so I went into the actual adaption and I actually see the actual battery, actual state of contact. That one there, contact. State of contact is open. So when it's open, that means it's trying to protect the battery from actually um, getting that. When there's a certain amount, of, I think between 5% and if it goes below 5%, the contactor will go will open circuit to protect the battery so you can actually uh, charge it up so you don't have to buy a new battery. It's a protection thing. There's a computer inside the battery. Okay, let me get out of this one. Okay, there's a picture of me checking the battery at the back, the 48 volt battery. It's point, if you look closely, it's 0 0.3 is DC. So I've got 0 0.354 volts. Pretty, pretty much. Uh, the contact inside the battery is a computer have open circuit to protect the battery and you got nothing so let me see what i uh, let me go to the next page i use my other tool to go into the closing protection for the actual charge hv battery and try i'm trying to actually close the contact so i can charge it contact is open circuit or not active so that has to be active so i can so i can actually display voltage at the back of the battery all right let's go to the next one all right, a lot of mucking around, but finally got it to activate. So now the, the actual contact relay inside the battery, the relay for the circuit board has uh, clicked, and now the actual battery is active at the back. Let's see how much voltage I checked. It came up with my actual multimeter. I'll go back to the next page. And there you go. Checked it again, and now the battery is at 4.52 volts. So now I've got, I'm getting a reading here. But it's going to take a long time to charge the battery, so we can actually get the car. Uh, the, the 48 volt battery has to be charged, fully charged before everything else runs properly. Okay, so not fully charged, but at least above 50%, 60%, and then you can start the car up. Otherwise, the alternator won't work. Okay, so let's go to the next one. So let's go back to the car and show you what I mean. So I'm charging the battery now, so I'm going into here. I'm charging it, and my tool is activated. We activated the actual uh, relay inside the battery. We're now saying active. It's gonna take a long time, maybe uh, until tomorrow. Not sure how long. Let's open the back. Let's have a look at the battery charge right now. How much the battery is. Turn it back on. It's going higher now, so 4.7 now. So it's going to take a long time to charge this battery, so I'm going to leave it overnight and then um, we'll check it tomorrow and see what happened. Okay, so we'll leave this here. We'll see what happens tomorrow and then we'll go from there. Okay, thanks for watching and please subscribe.